Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Silent again. I'm bringing you another YouTube tutorial. <clears throat> this time uh, I got something special for you, something good, something cool. Uh, it is a Nginx Reverse Proxy Manager. <clears throat> so, uh, before we dive into this thing, uh, just a little backstory. I did a YouTube tutorial about a year or two or so ago on Nginx Reverse Proxy. Okay, that process, to be honest with you, is a pain. It's, most people, I don't blame them for not understanding it. I tried to simplify it. Some people s still seem to struggle with it. This process, way easier. This time, instead of a bunch of uh, config files and uh, CLI user interface or whatever, uh, command user interface or whatever, you, uh, or you, we actually have a GUI. We actually have a, graphic user interface instead that we're going to be using and it's really freaking simple okay all right let's uh let's get into it okay so for the proxy manager um you're going to need uh docker you need to get an install docker for sorry linux docker and then and i'm using ubuntu so that's what i recommend ubuntu or some kind of linux just dis distribution then docker then the proxy manager so the proxy, how that works is the proxy manager sits on top of the Docker. That makes sense. Uh, I recommend watching this guy. I actually followed some of his stuff. So he does a phenomenal job explaining everything, how to install all of it. All right. So how to do the Docker and the proxy manager and how to secure it and all that jazz. Really, really helpful. Uh, the part that I'm going to cover is obviously what he isn't covering and that's how to set this up with the 360 which is very very easy okay so um what was i gonna say after you get the docker and in proxy manager set up all that crap all that bogus stuff you gotta make sure that you allow your your uh stealth ports uh to go to go um let it allow it through to the firewall both your firewalls for both your vpss um, I guess I should explain how this actually, how a reverse proxy works. Um, so, so the Xbox 360, basically this is how it works. The Xbox 360 is connecting through VPS1 and VPS1 is upstreaming that, uh, connection to VPS2 where your stealth server is located at. That's basically, that's really all it's doing. And uh, it's, I think it's a good idea to use because it can provide a nice security up front while hiding your IP address from the world. So you're, uh, you can have like three or four of these running at the same time, just so you know. I mean, you can, you can set this up in the stealth client to have it where it uh, it reaches out to one VPS, goes through one uh, reverse proxy v, uh, connection. Connection one, if that fails, it goes down to a, a failover. I'm sorry, yeah, a backup or a failover or whatever. It goes through that one. If the next one fails, it goes through that one. You see what I mean? You can set it up. You can set up the connection to do that. Um, Anyway, so uh, just a few highlights to let you know that you need to do. Okay, so after you have, once you get the proxy manager and the Docker set up, I'm sorry if I'm going in circles here, just trying to make sure I cover everything. It's not really much. It really isn't. Okay, so then you're gonna go to your, uh, you're gonna go to your GUI. All right, your proxy manager panel. All right, you're gonna select um, host. You're gonna select streams. You're gonna pull this up. I've already got it set up here, but you're gonna add stream. You're gonna put in the port that your stealth port here that it's listening for. Mine was 2000. Uh, you don't have to enable UDP forwarding, but I just do it anyway. And then put in your uh, your IP address and uh, 
your stealth port, whatever stealth port that uh, your uh, VPS is listening on. If you want to use a different port number, just FYI, if you want to use a different port number from the connection from the Xbox 360 to your front end VPS, okay, you can change that. You can have that difference. So like, if I wanted this one to be 3,000, I can make it 3,000 between the 360 and then my first VPS. And then the second VPS, I can have it 2,000 or something. If that makes sense. It should make sense. It's pretty pretty self-explanatory. Sorry. Okay. And then um, once you set it up, uh, uh, it's it's running. Um. Uh, all right, so uh, I just want to show you this before um, before I actually test the 360 with the reverse proxy. Okay, so when he has you set up, when you set up the Docker, um, the Nginx proxy, this is the, uh, he's going to give you a y, YML file, Docker Compose file information to use. Uh, don't use that. Uh, use the one that I'm providing here. All right. And also, whatever stealth port that you use, make sure that you enter it in here, the area that I'm highlighting. Okay? Um, like the one I'm using is 2000. So I'm going to have. I'm going to set this up for 2000 here, 2000 there. Uh, um, yeah. And if you want to add, if you want to add more. Uh, Port numbers, all you have to do is just copy and paste it down below, like this. Change it to whatever you want. That way when you when you run this, uh when you build the compose file or whatever, you're uh telling Docker that yes, please listen not only on port eighty, eighty one, four four three, but also two thousand, three thousand as well. So that way the networks know how to communicate with each other. All right. Um, but yeah, again, I will uh, post this down below for you. I'll provide a link for it. Um, all right. Moving on to the next one, the next thing. All right. I just wanted to, I just wanted to show people that you can actually do this. So if you want to route your uh, IP your reverse proxy through a DNS uh, through the DNS resolver, you can do that too. So I, I've actually set up my uh, my DNS name to actually uh, to uh, be ping to ping my uh, my first VPS server, the one that I'm going to route the the proxy through, that where the upstream is going to run through. So, uh, so you can you can do that. You can set it to VPS one instead of VPS two if that makes sense. So, if you want to use the DNS resolver for like that, just so everyone's aware, it's not hard. Just uh, just set set up the DNS like I did in uh, my previous tutorial where I covered D how to set up a DNS resolver. Okay, I wanted to uh, just show this real quick. As you can see, my um, my 360 is connected through v my VPS one, and uh, it's being upstreamed to my VPS two. So the uh, five five six one that is from that would be my VPS one. So you can see that it's it's working. So that is again this process is should only take you like maybe. Five or ten, maybe twenty minutes tops to set up. Um, you know, that's that's assuming you've got uh, proxy manager and Docker already set up previously. But um, after you get all that, sh after you get all that shit, all that stuff set up. Sorry, I guess, but after you get all that stuff set up, then uh, just follow this tutorial that I I uh, presented presented to you here, and then you'll be able to do um, what I'm doing. All right, uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, until next time. All right, peace out, homies.